It is that time of year, we're into the summer transfer window, big moves already being made, and this is an annual video. When the transfer window opens, we take every single transfer rumor and make them come true. And before we even get into the rumors, we already have some big moves that we've implemented into this career mode. Ziyech and Werner, we have them moving to Chelsea, Leroy Sané moving to Bayern Munich, and not even to mention the transfers, but we have a few teams actually moving up in divisions, Leeds United being one of them, finally back in the Prem. In today's video, we're just going to be focusing on Premier League rumors, and we're going to choose roughly 10 of them. There's going to be more players, but 10 specific specific rumors pretty much what i did was go online search up transfer rumors and no matter how ridiculous they are we are including every single one that i found in this video if you guys want to see this with other leagues from around the world like i said today's just the prem we could do la liga we could do the bundesliga everything let me know in the comment section what league we should do next but what i mean by just premier league is moving players to the Premier League. So say, for instance, Cristiano Ronaldo was rumored to go to Burnley. We would do that. But say um, Mo Salah was rumored to go to Barcelona. We wouldn't do that. It's players moving into the Premier League, not out of the Premier League. So we're editing all the transfers here. And let's get started with this one, which when I was looking up these rumors, I hadn't really been in the loop on Leeds United since they've been promoted. They're targeting Ibra and now Cavani. Now, Ibra seems to be a little bit more unrealistic. Cavani probably is too. But for the sake of the video, we're just adding them both. Could you imagine these dudes join Leeds United? For me, I'm not necessarily a Leeds United fan, but I'm super, super excited to see what they're going to do. Newly promoted back to the Prem. So we're going to go ahead and add Zlatan Ibrahimovic. And we're just doing this through the transfer section. And then we'll head on over to France. PSG, where we're taking Cavani. This strike force is going to be hopefully incredible. Yes, both of them are a bit older, but um, they should be good. And you can see here that Leeds United still in the championship. But when we get into the career mode, we will be moving Leeds United into the prem. Danilo Pereira talks up Arsenal transfer and heaps praise on Arteta. This could be a big one, boosting up the midfield of Arsenal, who at the moment, as I'm recording this video, are losing... To Aston Villa. I, I don't know Aston Villa. I don't know when this video is going live, but um, maybe they won. Maybe they didn't. Let's just throw him on Arsenal. Definitely going to be a big help. I'm not sure how many Arsenal players we have included in this episode, but that's a big one. 82 rated. And eh, maybe it isn't so big, but Dan Danilo Pereira is actually a really sick player in FIFA. Now, if this transfer actually goes through, I really believe that Chelsea is going to be challenged. I think they already are going to be challenging for the title next year. But this one, Kai Havertz, what did it say? Um, I think the talks are around 80 million at the moment to bring Kai Havertz. Now, again, these are just rumors, but Havertz seems very keen to join the club and talks are positive. I'm not sure when that post was made but this is huge they already have warner they already have ziak adding kai havertz in the mix this team is going to be absolutely dominant if i'm a man united fan i'm kind of fuming at this one they had their chance to sign erling holland they've had a bunch of other chances to bring in these big name players and now the best they have is raul jimenez so don't get me wrong he's a really really sick striker they should have signed Haaland when they had the chance. I don't know why they didn't, and I'm sure they're regretting it now. But this rumor sees Raul Jimenez moving to Manchester United. I don't think this is going to be the transfer that's going to help them do much in the league. I still see them sitting at around 6th or 5th place, even with Raul Jimenez joining. Right, so this specific transfer rumor has Nathan Ake, and although he is linked to numerous clubs... We are going to be going off of this one because it's the first one that I found. It has Nathan Ake moving to Manchester City. Come on, City. Do you really need another center back? I, what am I doing? I love Nathan Ake. For career mode, at least. Yes, in real life, Nathan Ake would be an insane player. But this is just like, I don't know. I, I just, I really don't think they need him. And to be fair, in this career mode, I don't even think Nathan Ake is going to even play a single match for City. This is a deal for Everton. And I think it's one of the smallest deals that I found in this video. 77 rated central midfielder. Moving on over from Southampton. You know, solid player. I mean, I can't say anything bad about him. But in terms of career mode and how it could affect this episode... It's not going to positively impact Everton very much in real life. Honestly, I think it's a great move. But as for the career mode, not so great. Here it is, Man United. I mean, I already said it. You missed your chance with Holland. If you guys missed your chance with Sancho, I'm going to be so disappointed in you. Sancho needs to be on this Manchester United team. 109 million. The expected. I think this. I think this rumor is a bit old. I'm not sure what the talks are like with Sancho at the moment. Please, man. I'm not a Man United fan by any means, but I love when big players move to the Prem. 
we need Sancho at this club. Like, Sancho needs to go to Man United. And if they don't pull it off, oh, God, I know there's going to be some very unhappy Man United fans out there. However unrealistic this one might be, Lionel Messi to the Prem to Man City. This one says, though, if Guardiola leaves, it could happen next year. Now, do I see this happening? Probably not. I also saw a rumor that it didn't include because it didn't give specific clubs. Um, if I remember, I'll flash it on screen. But what the rumor showed was Messi and Ronaldo teaming up. Rivaldo, you guys know the Brazilian icon, was talking about plans to potentially make that happen. Could you imagine to end their career Messi and Ronaldo playing together? I think the world would just explode. As if this Chelsea team wasn't strong enough. Give him another player. Someone linked with Real Madrid. It's Malinkovic Savic. I always praise this guy in career mode. He is so good. Such a great all-around player. Boss in the midfield. He would be a perfect fit for the Prem. Chelsea is, honestly, they're going to be contending with Liverpool in this career mode. 110%. Malinkovic Savic. Get into that Chelsea team. We're going to run through their squad a little bit. But Chelsea, I'm so high on right now. I think they have the best chance out of any club. They've had the most improvements thus far in this episode with the rumors. Your last two signings, and it's going to buff up Liverpool. And as much as I, uh, I think Chelsea has done great, this could put Liverpool over the edge. Thiago, apparently they've agreed to personal terms. Nothing confirmed as of yet. Thiago's number one. This second one... <sighs> It just makes Liverpool invincible. Legitimately invincible. Where is it? Uh, Napoli. Koulibaly. They now have the best two center backs in the game. Why am I even doing this episode? It's going to be Liverpool again. Oh, God. I hate this. I hate doing this. Koulibaly to Liverpool. If Liverpool doesn't win every single game... Shame on them because they have the best team in career mode history. Now we'll run through the team sheets just so you guys can see all the players in Danilo Pereira. Let me know in the comment section which players I missed. I only did a few transfers. I didn't do all of them. I wanted to just pick some of the top transfers that I saw. Check out this Chelsea team. Oh my God. I want them so badly to win. As so many people ask me before, what's, you, what's your favorite Premier League team? You guys know my favorite club. This one right here. FC Cincinnati, my hometown team. Got the other jersey. Hang it right back there. But for the Prem, for Europe, at the moment, I just go for Chelsea. Pulisic is my main man, you guys know, being an American. Um, and I, it, it really, really makes me so happy seeing this team so well. And I really hope next season this is actually the starting 11 that they put out. Let's continue to scroll. Everton getting the Southampton midfielder in there. Liverpool, that is the... I mean, it's so good. It's so good. That back line, is, it's legitimately... I think the best back line in FIFA history right there, ever. In any FIFA, that, it's scary. It's legitimately scary. Man City sees Messi in the starting 11. Nathan Ake in there, even though he wasn't the highest rated center back. We threw our boy Nathan Ake. Man United, Raul Jimenez, Jaden Sancho. We'll see how that affects them. And is that it? I think that's it. Those are your transfers. It is career mode time. Let's go. We're going into the manager career mode. We are going to... I think we're going to be have to control Chelsea. Oh, yeah, and you know, we have the realism mod on, so we may as well swag out our manager. Give me one second. Outer top. No, inner. No, 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 no. Outer top. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Excuse me. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me change this around. You know, let's put that on. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. No. No, no, no. The real. Wait, is that a muddy jacket? Sure, why not? A little bit of mud on there. Imagine your manager actually looked like this. Camo. They have shoes on the realism. They have socks. Well, we got to swag our, our manager out in some socks right here. All right. The most swagged out manager of all time. Oh, yes. Mr. Transfer Rumor. You're looking phenomenal. Okay. Into the career mode. Chelsea, I got to do it. We're not going to make any other signings. It's just the team we're controlling throughout. They're already in the Champions League. We'll turn the transfer window off so no more offers go through. Here we go. Okay, so before we even get the final results of this video, we need to take into account that the realism mod is on. I'm going to start using it a lot more for videos. I don't really use it as much, but you guys know I've, I've showcased it before on this channel. It provides more realistic results, not only when you actually play the game, but when you sin the game. It is perfect for my type of videos, the career mode experiments. So we'll see how that plays out today. Okay, we'll check out the prem first. There's good news. We're not in the bottom 10 as expected. And the results are kind of a bit different from what we're used to. Sheffield in 20th. 
the real is Ahmad has Sheffield in 20th. Maybe it isn't so realistic after all. Okay, we climb the table. Everton, Leicester eight, West Ham seven. Wait, you're kidding me. Chelsea finished sixth with 10 losses with that club. I'm actually stunned. I was expecting at least the top three finish with Chelsea. That means Arsenal finished above Chelsea. How is that even possible? Oh my God. Yo, what is this? Maybe I don't use the realism on anymore. Man City 4, okay. Jaden Sancho looked like he played a big impact. Spurs, we all know who 1 and 2 are going to be. It's actually Man City winning the league by one point, and it's Lionel Messi bringing home that trophy. I don't get it. Chelsea really did that poorly. I'm going to have to look at the stats after this game. Did we at least make a run in the Champions League? We did until we had to come up against Barcelona. Okay, even without Messi, they ended up smacking us. And Bayern Munich with Leroy Sané is the champion of the Champions League. Oh, that, could that have played a role, Kepa being injured? I feel like he couldn't have been injured for that long, though, right? This team otherwise should have performed incredibly, and they just didn't. Let's see the stats and let's wrap things up. If you guys want to see a part two to this episode with other leagues, you got to let me know in the comments what to do next. That could uh, that could say a lot here. We just didn't score goals. Havertz, seven goals in 51 games. Four assists. That's so bad. Milinkovic Savage was our top goal scorer. How does that even happen? How was Milinkovic Savage, someone who played CDM, our top goal scorer? Where is Pulisic? Pulisic, there he is. One goal. In Pulisic didn't even play. Okay, yep, makes sense. And we scroll down. I don't even know what to say, man. That's brutal. I don't think I'm going to be using the realism on anymore. I don't think I can. Um, although, you know, some things about it are realistic. Others aren't. Although Chelsea, you know, sixth place, fine. Sure. All right, that makes sense. But the goal scoring that we put on should have been so much better. Sterling being the top goal scorer. Messi in there as well. That is going to do it for today's video. Hopefully, you guys did go on to enjoy this one. I appreciate it. Check out my live streams. I should be live a little bit later today after this video airs. Playing some career mode. Maybe some NBA 2K. We're doing that Rafael Ruiz NBA 2K My Player. If you haven't seen that, link in the top line in the description. Check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you guys for another upload tomorrow. Peace.